What's good on family? So this was my day. <laughs> Yo, I don't even mind it. I love that I've been listening to the B1 Media for so long. The talking points I have rebuttals for, I have quips for, I'm well versed and well knowledge to know where to go get information. Shout out to Professor Black Truth. Shout out to TBA. Shout out to Tariq. Shout out to Vicky Dillard. Shout out to Afro Elite. Shout out to Black Alpha Network. Shout out to Tori and Rain. Shout out to ZZ. Shout out to all every great Black Shark. Can't forget him. Shout out to the brothers I know, like No News Podcast. Uh, there's another brother, Black TMZ. Shout out to him. So shout out to them. Shout out to Champside. Now, Champside, he's been regurgitating the talking points of the black uh, the black media, and he's actually using the term tether in his lives. I got clips of those, and I'm going to share those later, but here it is. Here's my day on TikTok versus the Democratic Shields and all that boot-licking Negroes and scaredy cats. Let me go ahead and say this for everybody that's mutual or not mutual and know me, know of me, or whatever. When it comes to Harris, Trump, Trump is the lesser of two evils. I know you're going to say, no, nah, he's talking about letting please do it. Trump was in the office already. If you think about it, as a black American, specifically as a foundational black American, my life didn't get any worse. In fact, black folks started doing more. You saw more businesses open. You saw more black folks actually care about gun laws. You saw black folks become more cohesive. So, ah... Uh, We've seen what Kamala's done in California. There are people who are still negatively affected by this woman's work to this day. And no, I'm not voting for Trump. And no, I'm not voting for Kamala. Because I'm not getting policies that I want. However, Trump's consolation is he trying to get all these legals out of here that are eating up resources. And I'm cool with that. Bro, if he was going to be a tyrant, how come he didn't do it when he had a term before Joe Biden? Mind you, I'm not capable for Trump. Trump ain't doing nothing for black folk. I get that. I want y'all to hear me loud and clear. Trump is not doing anything for black people, even specifically. All right? We, we know that. But if he was going to be a tyrant, how come he didn't do it when he had a term, when he was in the office? I'm just saying. I'm not voting emotional. I'm not doing nothing emotional. Business. Since I started working for myself, I understand emotions got to stay out of it. It's always business. It's always the bottom line. How? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. Respectfully speaking, everybody, I give zero fucks about the world. I live in the United States. I'm a foundation black American. My history starts here. I, hey, everybody else, I'm sorry, Joe, your country's the way it is. Fight for it. Like my ancestors fought for it. This man is saying, like he did last time, hey, get these illegals out of here. Who are eating the resources in places like Chicago. Where they're literally taking these youth centers and giving it to the illegals. The youth centers for the youth, the indigenous youth, the black kids in the, in the neighborhood. Where they would go to stay out of trouble. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to go hang out with their big cousin them because they have nowhere else to go. Where they going to be at? They don't want to be inside all damn day. You don't want them inside because on the internet there's creepers. I know y'all seen these, these kids that be on Roblox getting pulled upon by grown ass people. Come on now. Since I need you to break that down, why do I not count? better question. Why would participate in the system that's not giving us nothing? That's like you giving your body to a man that won't even get you a sandwich. That won't even get you some napkins. Let alone put a ring on your finger. And you keep doing it for years. Say, hey, when you gonna marry me? When you gonna do something for me? He say, well, let me get it again. Let me just get it one more good time. And I'm gonna do something. And after he gets it again for the umpteen times, he still does the same thing he's done the last 50, 11 times. Nothing. Help me, make sense. Help me understand. Make it make sense. Please. Look, man, look. Hey, I, we need to get something for our vote. I think this whole idea of being made to be scared for what? Especially as foundational black Americans, which is your lineage. I know that. Me and you, we went to school together. We fought, we deal with some of the greatest atrocities known to man. Slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, being bombed on American soil by Americans. Bruh, that fiery, that, that scary ass. Bro, we've dealt with the worst. Our people have dealt with the worst. Foundational black Americans specifically. We didn't flee, we didn't run, we didn't tuck tail. We stayed and fight. We're gonna keep fighting. That's in our, our blood. It is what it is. 
if Trump being in office means my life doesn't get any better, but it doesn't get any worse, I'm cool with that. Biden got in office, my life got worse. My money got funny, got super thin. And resources that I should be able to get, I can't even get because I'm not illegal. Black first. How would he do that? You got Congress, you got the Senate. So how do you get around the House? How do you get around all these government entities and become a dictator and get all these people, hundreds of people, to be like, oh, okay, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to say nothing about it. Explain to me how that happens. I would give that more credence if a lot of politicians didn't take off Republican and Democrat like it was a coat. Because Trump back in the day, when his younger years, about 20, 30 years ago, he was really cool with the Democrats. There's all kind of pictures of him chilling, chopping it up, hobnobbing and all that stuff. So these political pundits and all this stuff, these, these individuals that are in politics, they were Republican, Democrat, like it's a shirt. If this shirt didn't work for me, I'm going to take this out put the other one on. And if this starts working for me, I'll switch back. It's back and forth. Ah, that's because eh, the man was in office. He was in office. Like I said, I'm not voting for I'm not capable. He's not doing nothing for black folk. Let's get that clear. I understand that. But he was in office already. Where's the destruction of the world? I already heard that. You have sure I did. I also heard Joe Biden say, if you're black, you're not black if you don't vote for me. I also heard Joe Biden say he had black people's backs. And I say to say this not to deflect per se, but to say politicians say a lot of sh- they don't do. That's why you have to get them to say something so you can hold them accountable to, hey, man, you said you're going to do this for me. And they oh. So Trump's, uh, y'all, I don't know why y'all scary. I don't know why y'all so scary. Because most of the killings that happen to black people happen under the Democrats, starting with Obama. Trayvon Martin started with Obama. That started under Obama. Then Tamir Rice, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, and several others. If I'm correct, Sandra Bland. So why are we so scared now? What are you, what are you talking about? Have you seen Kamala's record? And how she's treated black people in particular? When she was just low level. She wanted him the governor. And the way she devastated black communities in California. And you were okay with her being the president? And I was, I'm not one either because I've seen Kamala's record. Shout out to the California family. This woman was diabolical. Laughing in people's faces, knowing they were innocent. Helping Crooked Cops get off. We talk about Trump. She literally, in real time, helped Crooked Cops get away with the crap they were doing to black people in California, particularly in the Bay Area. So, but I hate you, but I'm saying, you, you, I hope you ain't scary. You're a big brother. You literally flexing in your, in your picture. So I know you're scared. What, like, what's what's all this about? We survived. We're gonna keep surviving. We're gonna keep fighting. So we're gonna deal with this comment here in a second. But I, I've been going, taking care of business. Went by Aldi, one of my favorite stores. Got some duck. Let me show you. Got some duck because they had it. I was like, we can get this. But I went ahead and uh, I went to handle some business because I need to handle business. I come back to 57 comments. So, and this is just not, I'm not picking on you. I don't want you to think I'm picking on you. It says, it happens because the Supreme Court just give the next president of the United States immunity. How do they do that? How do they just give the next president immunity? And let's think about that. If they know Donald Trump can win, and it's possible that's what he wants, why would the Supreme Court just go along with it? Y'all making this man seem like he Thanos. How is he the smartest president to ever live? We've had Nixon, Reagan, uh, uh, what's what's a uh, Daddy Bush? Uh, what's what's uh, what's saxophone boy? That was smashing Monica Lewinsky. Clinton, yeah, the the, the husband of super predator, uh, his wife super predator lady. Then we had Son Bush, and then <laughs> then Obama, and. Trump is the most, the smartest president ever. Like, 
black family. Y'all listening to yourselves. So he's the Batman of presidents. Trump is the Batman of presidents. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I'm like, y'all give this man way more credit than I would have given him. Like, he ain't that damn smart. Didn't Obama go to Harvard? Didn't uh, Daddy Bush and Son Bush skull and bones? So, but Trump is the the most brilliant diabolical mastermind there is. Joe Biden, Three Strikes Biden, Jim Crow Joe, who wrote the, the Three Strikes Law that Clinton used to lock up black men willy-nilly. But Trump is the most I about. And I'm not voting for him. Mind you, I'm, I'm, let me say this again because I know somebody, he's a Trump fan. No, no, because I'm not getting no policies out of this. You're not going to get me to participate in something that does not benefit me. It's like me going to work, working on CT scanners and... <laughs> MRI machines seven days a week for four weeks and they say they all right cool it's time for you to get paid and they give me a hug I, you want to run me some money I need tangibles I want tangibles I'm sorry some of y'all just want to pat on the head you and wife hope to hug you go get you that all right do what you do knock yourself out but damn this man Donald Trump he must be the Red Skull, Mr. Sinister, Galactus, Megatron. He's he got to be all the villains rolling to one. Because I ain't never seen so many Negroes scared. I know most of you are tethers or non-FBA. But damn, they got y'all spooked like that? I ain't scared. I live to Obama. When Alton Sterling got killed, that affected me crazy. Not because I was related to the man, because at the time I was 330 pounds, still a father, and I, to me, I looked like that brother. That looked like me. So no, I'm, I, I've am i seen the worst, and the worst has come under the Democrats. When our brother's neck was kneeled on, that city he was in was a Democratic grand city. Yeah. Y'all need to catch up on y'all hidden colors. Because whether it's the left wing or the right wing, it's still a wing. And you need two wings for a bird to fly. Be one. So doing our job is locking up innocent black men. By allowing the cops, the crooked cops, to hide their the evidence and all the little crooked things they're doing. Not turning over to the Supreme Court. Like it was asked to be. Doing a job is to lock up black women who have daughters who have sickle cell. Like Sheree Pipples, whose 11 year old daughter at the time had sickle cell and was having attacks, having crisis. That's what they call it. It's very debilitating. One of my homeboys, he has sickle cell. He's, he's in his 40s. Very debilitating. That's doing her job. Lady who bragged about being the top cop. She, these are own words, mind you. Hold on. Years before Earl Warren led that office, I have personally prosecuted everything from low level offenses to homicides. I was elected the first woman district attorney of San Francisco, the first woman of color to be district attorney of the state of California in 2003. And I now stand before you as the top cop of the biggest state in the country. No offense, Eric Schneiderman. <laughs> that god awful laugh so what part of her job is punching down on black people for years and years and years I'm just saying what part of of her job is that protecting crooked cops locking up innocent black men and showing no leniency to women who have children that have ailments that literally debilitate them. Yeah. Question. I just want question, sister. Where's your family from? Obama signed Blue Alert. That added, gave extra protection to cops. What are we talking about? 
Question, where's your family from? This is a Kamala supporter right here, boy. Look at the English on this. And I, and I just asked him for punctuation so it can make sense to me. It's like you're giving all the pertinent info that you say, but that disqualifies everything you said before. What? I say sentence. Say I say sis. That sentence doesn't quite make sense. If you're not voting anything you say, actually means nothing. What? I say, ma'am, we need punctuation in your sentence. And then she puts, sir, no comma. This TikTok, not a English paper. Family, buy buy a shirt. And shout out to Mama T. For buying a shirt. Appreciate you, brother. Be one. Falls County, Texas. All the way back to 1890. And I'm going further. I just got more research to do. But Falls County, Texas. That's where we're from. You did something there? Google it. Central Park 5, Google it with Trump and then sit down. Let's Google it. Democratic presidential candidate when Michael Bloomberg was shot him up for president was the mayor at the time when the Central Park 5 got arrested. Democrat. And the prosecutor that prosecuted them? Just one second, one second. Diane Feinstein? <gasps> Egad! She was a Democrat. Now I want you to sit up, stand up, so you can sit back down. You're welcome.